everybody welcome back to my channel so Tuesday whoops I have a few minutes I'm doing another whip and chat for you guys hopefully you guys don't get tired of whip and chats <laughs> but um, I just happen to have a few minutes of free time about uh, 20-ish minutes before I have to leave to go pick up my daughter from school. Um, my youngest one stayed home from school today because she was running a really high fever this morning. She was sick last night and um, I decided to play it by ear and then you know sure enough when she woke up this morning she was not feeling well at all so I had to miss class today, but um, good thing that the what we're doing in class is like project or group work, and so I have a really good group of ladies who um, keep me in the loop, so that's good as well. Oops, I missed another M right there. Uh, but yeah, so um, I don't know what day today is. I think it's like the 29th. Or, yeah, today's the 29th. I don't know what today. I don't know how far out I'm posting these videos. I think they're being posted a couple days later. I do have a couple of videos in front of this one. Um, I Because I don't want to post, well, I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I kind of didn't want to post like two whip and chats back to back. But I guess like it wouldn't be that big of a deal. What number is this? Two. If I did post two whip and chats back to back, I just, I, I'm trying to stay on top of videos right now. Right now, I don't really have like a schedule. I talked about this before that I don't have a schedule of videos right now or like when I'm going to post. I know a lot of people have a schedule and they're pretty consistent with it. But I don't right now. If I have a bunch of videos to upload, then I will do some videos back to back and post like every day. But if I don't, um, then, you know, I try to space them out so that at most the latest that you're getting one of my videos is a couple of days. And the reason that I do that is because if I... Even if I have like a bunch of videos and if I space them more out so that they stay more consistent, so say like I'm posting every other day or every, you know, Wednesday and Friday or whatever, um, I feel like at some point the content gets old and I don't want to post a video um, that I filmed like two weeks ago. Because then I feel like the content's no longer as relevant and it also confuses people. And so, like, I remember I watched a video, one of the people I watch, um, she, by the time her videos go up, sometimes it's weeks later and she posted a video not too long ago of um, Diamond Art Club new releases and I think she titled it something along those lines. And... <clears throat> when she released it i was thinking oh my god how did i miss these new releases like what the hell because there was one in there that i hadn't seen yet because i don't really like stock Diamond art club's website or anything there's a whole bunch of paintings on there that i still haven't seen and i was so confused and then somewhere along the lines like she mentioned the date and i was like whoa okay this video is a couple weeks old so it kind of threw me for a loop but yeah i just i feel like you know at some point the content's just not as relevant anymore and so I I don't want to post a video that's too old sometimes if I have a video that's sitting in my queue uh, for a while and I haven't posted it yet sometimes I'll just scrap it completely because it's you know I feel like the content's no longer relevant to it or maybe I said something that was time specific and um, you know, I just decide not to post it for whatever reason. 
that's just my opinion that might not be everybody's opinion I know you guys are at a different angle again today I'm sorry I'm just really trying to find the best angle for you guys um, I'm thinking of getting an arm I just I don't like me personally I don't like watching especially a whip and chop because sometimes I will glance up and look at, at you know what they're doing or whatever and I don't like watching something where they're so far away that I can't really see what they're doing sometimes I do like to watch people lay their drills down and stuff and so I'm trying to find like a good angle and I know you guys really aren't that close um, I've been thinking about getting one of those arms that I can attach up here to my hutch and then um, give you guys a better downward angle if that makes sense and then it'll also help me with um, doing unboxings because for my unboxings I feel like you guys are too close and I can't get the whole canvas in and I have to constantly take you guys out of the holder and then that way I can't get this drill off um, I can put you up a little higher and you'll be able to see like the unboxing properly in my opinion compared to what I've been doing why aren't these coming off right I think okay so the little um, wax that came with um, the short length canvas that I showed you guys that wax was horrible oh my gosh I had such a hard time getting it in my pen I honestly think it was just hard and not only that but you can tell it was a different type of wax because of the color it was a really dark pink color and I'm used to the light pink that comes in I'm gonna say like 99% of kits and it was horrible I was having such a hard time with it and I was wasting a lot of time just getting the wax in the pen so I just finally tossed it I figured you know what I don't need to hang on to this because I have a ton of wax anyway I don't need to make a big deal about it so yeah that's what happened with that that's why I have a new piece of wax right here so today marks the third week of my training class for my job and I'm excited but nervous at the same time because we do have to have an assessment that we have to pass and um, I just I get kind of locked up because the assessments that they do they do them in a group setting and I just get like so flustered talking in a group and like I'm okay like asking questions and things like that but when you put me on the spot and you say you know okay here what do you need to do walk me through the steps I get super like I just I can't think and my brain just like gets all foggy and even though I know like the material and I know what I'm supposed to be doing I get like OMG and I just can't figure out for the life of me what I'm supposed to do but then if I do it like one-on-one -on -one and I don't have like so many eyes on me I do perfectly fine I don't know what that's about I don't know if that's like stage fright or what it is but yeah it's it's crazy so the assessment um is done in kind of one of those group settings there's not as many people but there's still I'm assuming at least three people and it's just really it's kind of intimidating to me like I'm perfectly fine with one person but I don't know it just it's it's weird and for those of you that don't know I do work uh, for um, oh man I messed up all those drills and I think I got the colors wrong. No, I didn't. Um, for those of you that don't know, I work doing customer service for Princess Cruise Lines. And it's a brand new job for me. And so when you first get hired, you do have to go through the certification process to be a certified um, agent. 
And so there's a whole bunch of stuff you need to know, you need to learn in the program, you need to do all kinds of stuff. It's kind of similar to like, if you know anything about like 911 operating, um, it's kind of like that. You have to go through a training class, you have to learn the program, you've got to know your way around the program so that when people call in, you're not like asking for help, what to do, you know what functions are what as far as the program is concerned and that's that's kind of what it is. And the only reason I know that is because I um, attended some of those trainings to be a 911 operator and the hours just didn't work for me unfortunately and I wasn't able to finish the class but yeah um that's that so uh, I'm just nervous about making sure I'm checking the time make sure I'm good on that making sure that I pass the certification because it's going to allow me to essentially pick my own hours out of what's available um in the class, not in the class, but what's available from the company. And so that's gonna be so much better for me at home because then I don't have to worry about anything after school. I don't have to worry about anything um, like super early in the morning. I can attend my classes during the day, study and everything so right now because I still have two more weeks of these set hours of this class time so right now I'm kind of working on um, working ahead on my schoolwork I know I'm gonna have a little bit more time to focus on schoolwork because once I'm out of this training class we also have like assignments that we have to do outside of the training class like self-paced work so once the class is done, I won't have that to do, and so I'm going to try to um, get ahead on my my work so that, you know, if something comes up or whatever, I'm not stuck doing anything last minute. Right now, I am doing everything super last minute. Like tonight, I have an assignment that I have to write already. I have a two-page paper that I need to write for tomorrow it's due tomorrow morning and i have class at 9 40 in the morning so i'm going to be up writing that tonight and it has to be an apa style um and i you guys honestly i hate apa style i'm not a journalism major i am not a research major i am not you know anything like that but they really really hammer all of that stuff in your head like I don't want to be a writer you know like why does it matter if I have a heading on my paper like I just I know that that's just the way that it needs to be done and I do it but still it's like so frustrating because you have to spend so much time getting familiar with the style of writing it's just ridiculous and my Spanish coursework, um, my I don't know if this is all universities, but my university, when you go for a bachelor's degree in higher, they require a second language. And I don't know if this is for all programs, but all the programs that I looked into, all the degree programs that I looked into, um, it is a requirement for all the ones that I was considering. So, and the second language requirement is two years of a foreign language. And it's two years of the same foreign language. So the way it's set up is over four semesters, you basically take like one, two, three, four. Um, Spanish is set up to, let me think, what is it? Spanish. I don't know like right now I have 211 and the next semester is 212 and then that's it what did I take last semester I can't remember the numbers but it's a 100 level course and then the the rest of its 200 level course and so I'm gonna be super excited to be done with that because then for my master's program I don't have to worry about a second language thank goodness because I am not learning anything, you guys. If any of you guys speak another language, how did you learn it? Did you, like, you can't remember? You learned it before, like, 
you were old enough to know that you had to learn it or what it is. Like my husband, when he was born, his mom taught him Spanish first and then he picked up English later on and his sisters don't even speak Spanish the way that he does because um, their mom didn't teach it to them in the same way and so he is very fluent in Spanish and he learned English like kind of at the same time but he retained all of the Spanish that he learned as a child and still is fluent in Spanish today. I was not fortunate enough to have that experience and I'm stuck learning these college courses and honestly they don't teach you fluency they teach you um, what's the right like grammar and the correct order of a sentence and when to use like ellos and ellas and ustedes and all of those words and it's heavily focused on verb conjugation this is my third Spanish course and every single one has been heavily focused on verb conjugation and it's kind of weird like why do I need three semesters of a class to learn how to conjugate verbs like I should be speaking sentences at this point and I still really haven't learned anything that I didn't already know I think that's because I have a little bit of an advantage because when I was a kid I don't know if this was everywhere, but when I was a kid, Spanish was taught to us in school, in elementary. It was, it, it's almost like how you have science and English and writing and computer lab. We also had Spanish. I don't know if this was a regional thing because I grew up in New Mexico and it's a Spanish culture or, or what it was, but we were taught Spanish, so I learned a lot, a lot at that time. We had to take it again in middle school and we had to take it again in high school, but I believe high school was only one course because I, I only remember taking it one time. And um, I honestly haven't learned anything that I didn't already know, like other than like a couple things about sentence structure. So I just think that's weird. If you guys went to college, um, like further than your associate's degree, I'd love to hear your like experiences with learning a second language. Was it a requirement or or what? You know, I figured since I knew so much Spanish already that I mean, I, I can't speak it properly, but since I have been around it quite often, I figured well, I shouldn't have you know that hard of a time. And yeah, it's just really weird. My husband says that I speak Spanish like a white person and not <clears throat> not because of the accent, but because of the way I form my sentences. Because when in Spanish, when you speak it, the words are like um, backwards in English. When it translates, you have to switch them around. And he says that I'm still leaving my order, the order of my words when I say my sentence, that I'm leaving the words the English way and that I need to switch them over for them to make sense in Spanish but I use um, Google Translator and there's a Spanish dictionary on line called Spanish Dict I know that sounds really inappropriate but it's D-I-C-T that helps me and when I put my sentences into the program for the most part they're still right from what it says the Spanish classes are really like heavily online based like you have to do all the assessments and everything online it's kind of strange so yeah I don't know by the time this comes out you guys are probably going to be tired of hearing me rant I'm coming along pretty far on this canvas. There's a couple of drills that I don't like the placement of, but I don't think that's going to make a difference once, like, once you step back from it, just because I'm so close to it and I can kind of see everything. But yeah, I've been covering it back up. 
because my cat, for some reason, I guess because I'm in here so much in my office, my cat has been jumping on top of my hutch. And sometimes he lands on top of this. And so I've been covering it back up, but I'm still finding animal hair, but nowhere near as much as I used to get, um, like when I had it in my kitchen. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm torn about which way to go. I don't know if I should go this way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Can you guys see that? Do I need to move you a little bit? Yeah. So I also bought some stuff to um, make some of my own cover minders. I don't think I have any intention on selling them, but I did get some stuff to make some of my own. Um, just because I saw some really cute embellishments at Walmart this morning. I missed an M right there. And I was looking, they were in the same craft section, so I figured, you know what, let me look and see if there's any magnets here. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. Not 100% sure how it works. There's not really any tutorials on how to make them. My only question is, by the time this video goes up, I've probably already figured it out, but my only question to myself right now as far as that's concerned is when you buy these embellishments they have like a little hook in the back so right now I'm trying to figure out like what do I do with that hook like do I get a pair of pliers and pull it off or um, not pull it off but you'd have to like break it off or like what do I do so that's that's my dilemma as far as that is concerned. So, yeah, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably, I should have figured it out unless something came up and I just didn't do it. But um, this video, today's Thursday, so this video is probably not gonna go up until Monday or so. I feel like I shouldn't be posting every day because I know at some point I'm not going to be able, I'm not going to have a video to post and I just don't want people to get used to the idea of me posting every day and then be upset when I don't. Not that I have anybody that's been complaining. All of you guys have been absolutely fantastic. We surpassed 200 subscribers. Um, I don't know if that was this morning or yesterday, but I just know that this morning when I woke up, um, we had passed 200 subs so yay for me or us tomorrow my beaded embroidery kit should be here the first not the first one that I bought but my you know it's the first one that I'm gonna be receiving I got I ordered one off Aliexpress and that one hasn't gotten here yet and I got super impatient so I started looking at some on Prime and saw that there were a couple on Prime and I ordered one so the first one is going to be here tomorrow so i'm really excited for that i think i told you guys in another video that i really want to make sure that i finish at least one of my crochet projects first so this weekend before i even lay hands on the embroidery i have set a goal for myself that i absolutely have to get that cro that crochet blanket done at least all of the crochet part because I do need to sew a backing onto it probably won't get the backing done because I'm horrible at sewing and I haven't even purchased the material for it but I do want the crochet part done so that should be happening this weekend I'm probably gonna record a crochet with me maybe um video but I just, and I, I love the feeling of getting stuff done. Like when you finish a project, it just feels so accomplished. So we'll see how that crochet with me whip and chat goes. Or maybe I'll just do a montage, like where I fast forward it and play some music. I haven't decided. I feel like I have a lot of really rambly videos. And I don't want to wear you guys out. So, yeah, I think right now I have, how many videos in the queue do I have? Two videos already rendered to go. And I think, 
I don't think I'm gonna post one today. I think I'm gonna wait actually because today I was gonna post a Diamond Art Club haul, but I think I'm gonna wait and post it on the weekend. So this video probably won't even go up until maybe Tuesday. We shall see. Okay, so I think that's all the twos in this area. I'm going to stop here because I need to go get my daughter. I want to get this M down so I don't forget it. I got all this corner done finally. So excited. Oh, if you guys aren't following um, Mystical Diamond Art Facebook page, um, I will post progress updates for these on the Mystical Diamond Art Facebook page. So if you want to... Um, like you don't want to watch the whole you, the videos of the whipping chats, you can go there and I will post the progress videos of, where's the M, there it is, of my work on this canvas because I haven't seen anybody else working on it yet, so that's going to be your place to keep up with it. So yeah, that's a quick whipping chat. I'm going to go because I got to go pick my daughter up from school get dinner then pick up my son then come home and go to work so yeah all right you guys thank you for watching thank you for being here and following along with me um you know ask questions whatever it is i am pretty attentive to my comments i try to respond to everybody all the time even if you just get a heart from me, I just know that I did read your comment. I, If I don't reply, it's probably because I was busy at the time that I read your comment. But I at least heart it so you know that I did see it and I do appreciate you guys. So that's it. That's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.